All right, Jason, let's take a quick look at your surf from behind. Uh, I looked at these things. I haven't, um, you know, well, I'm not going to run through it for you, but these serves actually look pretty good to me. You're actually hitting the ball pretty well, decent pace, good balance. Looks pretty good. The uh, main difference between our serves, this is me on the right, you on the left, is in this set position and then the drop, okay? When you begin your push against the ground over here in this left picture, your racket travels up a little bit too much. And so you're, you're not getting the racket going down into your drop as your body comes up off the ground. Or as you extend your legs and your body comes up, the racket is traveling up with you. So relative to one another, the racket isn't moving. Relative to your body, it's pretty stationary. Okay. Whereas in mine, since my racket is going down as my body goes up, relative to my body, I get a very deep drop. Okay. Check me out here. My rack is all the way down here about at my butt as I come off the ground. Okay, check out down here. My foot is just barely attached to the ground still, just starting to come off the ground. Look how low my racket is relative to my body. And that's partly because of this good external rotation I've gotten. You can see my elbow is pretty high. My hand is alongside my head. In your case, okay, as you come off the ground, we'll go back one frame, maybe two. Okay, you're just barely touching the ground here. And look at where your racket is, how high that racket is relative to your body. All right, mine is down about, to be equivalent, it would have to be down around here maybe, okay? Maybe I'll undo that one and just bring that up. It's about there, okay? And then your hand, look at that, your hand is up there over your head. Okay, so let's look at those. My hand down here, racket, straight down, okay? So that gives me a heck of a lot more uh time to accelerate that racket up into the hit. Your racket isn't going to get going nearly as fast because it doesn't have nearly as far to go. Okay, so there's me coming up into contact. And there's you coming into contact. All right, so why is it? Why is it that you're not getting that good uh, drop? Well, I think you've got a little hitch here. Okay, as I take this thing frame by frame, as you come up, you're elbow stops, your racket stops right there. You have a pause. Okay, pause and then go. Okay, that pause isn't so bad, but that pause needs to be, now we're just focusing your arm more up in this area where mine is here. Okay, it's in this position. If your elbow was just back a smidge more than the racket pointing up, this wouldn't be bad here as a pause position. But for you, we back it up. You're pausing way down here. So your arm is getting behind uh, right now. You're starting to drive your legs, and the racket's not up in position to start dropping yet. Therefore, it doesn't drop very low. So I hope that makes sense. You need to get that little pause here. I'll just play it for you. There's your serve. You can watch. Pause. Go. Again. Pause. Go. Okay. So that pause right there gets you behind. Get your arm behind your body speed. We'll put mine on here. And I'll just hit it. And we'll do another one. And if there's any pause in mine, it slows down. But mine slows down right up in that pre-drop spot. Okay? So that's what's happening. You're depriving yourself of a good drop of the rest relative to your body by that pause. Get your arm behind. And then your hand stays high. And the racket stays high. And you don't get that depth of a drop that I'm getting because of the rack. The hand is too high as you come off the ground. Okay? So we'll advance it right here. And that's where we'll leave you with our two positions just as we come off the ground. My racket way down here. My hand way down here. Yours up high in both instances. And we need to drop all that down by syncing up that leg drive and a high racket. Okay? Thanks for sending that in, Jason. If you have any questions, as always, don't hesitate to email me at coachmyvideo.com.